Oh, hey, glad you could make it. Uh, just doing a little bit more uh, planning for our upcoming trip to Alaska. So I guess you're here for the tour. Let me see if uh, Sandra is ready. You, you. They're here for the uh, tour. Are you ready? I uh, can I have just one second, please? Oh. No problem. All right, she just needs a few more minutes. She's getting all dolled up for the big event. Uh, we get a lot of questions about the, uh, how big are we? The physical characteristics and the dimensions of uh, Orion. So let me just uh, give you a little bit of uh, insight as to how big are we? And we're 13 feet, five inches tall. And we're 46 feet, six inches long. We're 42,000 pounds. Ooh, I might have broken the scale. Hey, how's it going? Come on in. Well, hi everyone and welcome to our home for four years. This marks our four year anniversary when we took possession of Orion on March 2nd. I forgot what year that was. <laughs> 2019. <laughs> 2019, that's right. I don't wanna say it's been four log years, but the time has really, really flown. And we just, we love our home. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to make sure is this felt like a home, it felt like a stick and brick. Uh, everything is residential. We have the heated tile floors, the granite countertops, the tile backsplashes, um, the ceiling fans, and what was important to us was the big open airy floor plan. Um, we wanted, again, the tall ceilings. Uh, we went with the really large slides just to open it up. Uh, some people get excited about, oh, I've got 10 slides, but for us that just looks too compartmentalized. We just like one big open flow area. And these ceilings are a little over eight feet tall. Yes, so it, like again, a home. It is, and we, we really enjoy it. And David's favorite spot, I think, his throne, second throne. <laughs> So we're gonna start here, and these are, we had these uh, custom power recliners, and they're actually built for small apartments, so if the power ever goes out, uh, there's a, a UPS uh, in there, then they can come in and out. So um, this is where we watch TV, and we do have the surround sound home theater system. You mean the few times we watch TV. Yeah, we haven't been watching a lot of TV since you started the YouTube channel. That's right. So. You'll notice also we don't have any shades and we went with um, the wood trim, painted wood trim, with the curtains, and I made these cafe curtains on the rods. And yeah, we can't just push a button and they close and open, but it just, it makes it feel more homey. Plus, mm -hmm. I don't want the, the shades anyhow. <laughs> and a little, little side table here uh, for my things, and we'll go over what David uses in a little bit. In the rear here, you'll see that we have these two cabinets and these are built-in cabinets. And what we needed them to be off the ground for two reasons. One, we don't want it to look like a cabinet. We wanted it to look like a piece of furniture. And two, there's a couple of vents down on the bottom that helps to circulate the air from the bath, uh, from the bathroom. <laughs> uh, helps circulate <laughs> the, the basement. air from the basement because all our batteries are down here, down below. Um, the other thing that we like to do is we like to decorate things from our travels because I mean that's why we're doing this. We love to travel and about a year before we started building Orion, we went to Mexico and found these really, really cute uh, wall sconces that we have on either side and then we found these uh, drink coasters in Quartzsite up here and so when, when Spacecraft was building the trailer, we made sure that those were solid so we could put these different um, drink coasters <laughs> up, up top there. 
And as you can see, we have a lot of storage. I mean, storage is everything for an RV. We have all the storage up above. And I'm finding out, I don't think we really, I really don't think we needed all that much storage. Um, but one thing I'm glad that we did is we had this open cabinet here just for a few knickknacks. Um, so the other thing that's really cool is when we were designing this, where, because storage is so important, even though I'm not using it all, where do we put the subwoofer? And what we ended up doing is the subwoofer completely takes up this whole cabinet. Completely. Comple I mean, it just takes up every inch of that cabinet. And, and these do come off and this opens up. But what's kind of cool is with all this electronics, because we do like to boondock, we put this little light switch here and you can turn it on and off. And that turns on and off the uh, sound system. So it doesn't pull a, have a big draw whenever we're not using it. So that's, that's really right. cool. And all that goes and it's tied up in the electronics cabinet up above. And I didn't want to give up storage. David didn't want to give up his sound system and his theater. So we had the, uh, the center channel put down here, which is kind of cool because it didn't take up the space here. But then we also have the forbidden drawer. This is the drawer that I am not allowed to get into or touch because I'm not allowed to use these 10,000 remote controls that David has in here. <laughs> That is correct. Yes. So it's kind of cool because then that solved the problem with the center channel. That's pretty cool. I really like yeah, that feature. I, that, that's a really cool feature that we like. And then I actually wanted to have this surface. I use this all the time for projects, for sewing. Whenever we have people over, I'll use it as a buffet to put all the t uh, uh, plates and everything down. I didn't think we'd use this as much, and we were debating whether or not to have the TV forward uh, for all the storage behind, but you know, we're not using all this anyhow. Um, another thing, all our cabinets pretty much have pull-out drawers. This is what I call my go box. There's a few things here that I just put in here and then pull in, and then we also have this nice pull-out drawers as well for stuff. And that's just really super cool. And behind the fireplace is our guest bedroom. It's our secret room. Our secret room. It's the Harry Potter room. <laughs> it makes it, it, everything expands. So when we pull this out, this has our second bedroom in it. We have the air mattress, the pump, blankets, uh, bed pad. I even have a curtain here for our granddaughter that we put across the back there. Um, so yeah, and we keep everything back behind there nice and tidy and it's just, it's a great place, great use of storage behind this uh, fireplace. And there is a lock that we get into from behind here so it won't come flying out. So. And if the, the grandchildren misbehave. No. Oh no. No, oh. you can't do that. Okay. Bad paka. <laughs> <laughs> And then the other thing we have, again, just to give it that residential feel, is we have this really cool barrel ceiling fan slash light fixture. And, uh, you know, and it's just wide enough to, and it does pull a lot of air. It's just wide enough to where we have the slides in. Um, it, it still fits. I didn't know it would, but it did. So, um, okay, so this was David's favorite part of the trailer, and this is mine the kitchen. So again, pretty much everything here is residential-esque. Um, and I'm going to start with the, the tower here. And a lot of people will have the pull-out, um, the pull-out, what is this thing called? Appliance uh, pull garage. Pull-out uh, appliance garage. Yeah, pull-out appliance garage. And it does have the, the plug there. But because we are, uh, vertically challenged, if you will. <laughs> um, we had to pull here, put this in here with the plug. So now I could just like peek and look inside here. So I don't want to say that's one of my favorite features, but I really do like this. All adjustable shelves, just a ton of storage. And all these drawers are super deep. Um, you can see this is where I keep some of my baking gear. And then in the kitchen here, there's a phenomenal backstory to this stove, and we will get to that in an upcoming video. That is a cool stove, and one that maybe 
one of the only ones in America like that. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it is dual, it's a 240 volt cooktop and it has two eyes and I can actually boil water on each side um, at the same time, plus it has the two burners here. Again, for boondocking, we like to have electric and gas. And I opted not to have the oven because I use this and I cook, two, what, two turkey dinners a year in this at least. Mm -hmm. So um, Two yummy turkey yeah, dinners. Yeah, thank you. And so it works out fantastic and then by not we, should, we should note that uh, that's induction. Yes, thank you. This and is induction and this is propane. propane. Yes. And so by not having the big oven, that gives me all of this drawer space, which, you know, I do, I'm not a chef, but I do love to cook. So you can see all the storage space that we have, which is great. Oh, and Rod, this is for you, my friend. You asked me four years ago when I posted this on Facebook, what is it gonna look like in the future? Well, it hasn't changed. I've added a couple of things, but you'll see it's still the same. And, okay, so that's this space here, and then we just have the big storage for, you know, uh, Instapot and Crock-Pots and stuff. And we have the uh, dishwasher, and again, just huge amounts of space. You can see I'm not even using all that. Um, the residential sink, the pull down, which we really like. I like having, especially for boondocking, I really like having a dual sink. And this was not a lot of fun for certain individuals um, to try to source this particular sink, but David finally found it, so that was good. Very and, exacting measurements that we had yes, to have. Yes, yes. And then, I don't know why campgrounds don't recycle, but we, we wanted the two bins here for recycling. Uh, one for trash, one for recycling, and actually I have a third bin, so when we're boondocking, um, we can even segregate our trash even more. Okay, moving on. Obviously, the residential refrigerator. Um, this is really nice. This is all storage space. It goes all the way back, and yes, these are one of the, this is the few cabinets that I actually have to get a ladder to get up into. This is where I keep all my back stock. That is a cave up there. Yeah. So to solve a problem, we ended up putting in these pull-out spice cabinets, drawers. And normally they're a lot more full, but I'm in the process of like burning down all my inventory for Alaska. They are normally packed. <laughs> they are, I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> so my... Is this my favorite feature? <laughs> I, I don't think know. it is. So you've seen in a lot of videos, the soda machine. And the soda machine is housed in a standard 24 inch deep residential cabinet. And this is a 43 inch cabinet. And it's, a, you know, again, it's a little bit deeper than a normal cabinet would be. But then the base cabinet holds. The beast. The beast. This sucker uses seven kilowatts a day. Man. <laughs> we were not planning on that, but- um, It but is a power hog it, it in is, there. It is, it is. So, but you know, I just, I just love my Diet Coke. It's got two flavors. It has Diet Coke and Coke. So I'm gonna take a quick break if you don't mind. <laughs> She's been talking a lot. Oh, it's cold. And then, Excuse me. Pull out drawers, and then this is a pull out drawer for my dehydrator, because I do enjoy um, dehydrating foods and stuff. This is kind of cool too. Again, it looks like a normal RV dinette, but it pulls out into a full size table, so my da our daughter and I we can do all of our journaling, and it's multi purpose. So it's. A dinette for two, it's a dinette and game table for four, it's David's studio <laughs> yes. right here, and here's his cup, and then, um, and then sometimes I will use it for sewing, but not a whole lot, and then I keep my sewing machine and serger and some other supplies in the buffet, and again, we have the, the overhead storage right here. So this is so when I'm not spending all my time at the soda machine, <laughs> I'm now spending all my time at the desk. And I never thought, you know, being an RVer, I would sit at the desk so much. 
And we have some neat features here. Um, first of all, the desk, where I do a lot of my journaling now. And uh, we have this pull-out drawer made for the printer. And you can ignore all my journaling supplies up there. The voluminous <laughs> amount of journaling oh, supplies. It got stickers, so bad. So paper. I was quiet. So I was putting everything up on this shelf. And so as much as I love all my journaling stuff, I hate looking at clutter. And I just like the, the clean feel of this. So uh, a couple of months ago, David and I built this shelf down here. And this is where I keep all my scrapbooking paper, my washi, and some other, my other supplies. And I'm still able to sit here and not, you know, not feel cramped. This is the reason for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> um, some neat little tiny features. So we have an outlet here and an outlet up top, but there's also an outlet down below. And then you can see where I pull uh, the electrical cord through the grommet. And also when, when I'm doing my sewing, I have the pedal down here and bring it up and I have the sewing machine right here. But this is really cool. This is David's side table. This is also my extra table for spreading out. And it's all, and it also covers our junk drawer where we keep all of our office supplies and a few sewing machine items in there as well. So those are kind of some of the little tiny features that we've done. Multi-purpose. Um, this is David's planning. This is where he does all his planning in his books. This is where the magic occurs. This right here, yeah. So all his Alaska books right now, and then just appliances and things, and then his to-do list. Yeah, look at all that. Look at my yeah. to-dos. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. I think this is the downstairs. Are we ready to go to the upstairs? The, the upstairs? Yeah, let's go all the way upstairs. Mm -hmm. All right, so before we go up, upstairs, let's talk about the foyer or the entrance way. Uh, we needed a space that we could come into when all the slides are open and kind of offload because we do a lot of Wally docking uh, and doing grocery supplies because uh, I can't always fit everything into the smart car. Yeah, but... so she fits it into a huge <laughs> cart and exactly. then walks across the parking lot. <laughs> exactly. So when we walk in, we see this really pretty buffet and this soda machine. And we, you know, we can just immediately come in, we kick our shoes off, because every RVer needs to have shoe cubbies. Shoe storage is so important. And then you know, we, we incorporate the Hawaiian way of keeping your shoes off in the house. Um, but we also have um, this, so we don't have a dog, but this is our little Yuffie house. And there's an outlet way behind there, and he comes out and vacuums the floor. So we did something a little bit differently with this coat closet because uh, we couldn't get the, co the coats in all the way, so what we did is we found this pullout. And we could just come in here, I could get my parka, put it on and off. Which and she uses a lot. I do, year round, uh, year round. And I, it won't be coming off of me this summer, I'm sure. Should we show what's up here? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to really reveal what's in that cabinet up there? Okay, no judging people. <laughs> we all have our issues. We all hoard things, all so right. no judging. All right. This is this is storage. Okay, <laughs> useful storage. But so we That's have gold up there. <laughs> We keep all of our inside tools right here because you have to sometimes get a screwdriver or something and just, you know, command strips. Um, so we have all that there. Uh, on the rare occasion, we will have some wine. And, and Yvonne, this is why I needed all those wine socks that you knitted me. Thank you very much. And then the shameless porting of the foam cups. So fortunately, they don't go all the way back, obviously, because we have a carpet cleaner up there and a few other little supplies. But yeah, this is, this is where we get all our phone cups <laughs> from Whataburger yeah. when we're not in Texas. Yeah, don't judge people, don't, don't judge. judge. People. <laughs> okay, so next up is if we do make a mess on the floor, broom closets are really important. So we have this really nice broom closet that houses the vacuum Dyson cleaner. And it, again, it's got the outlet. We have our awning remotes and the brooms and all the supplies here. 
And I don't think there is a single video that we have had that does not show the command center. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And we'll go through more of this in another upcoming video. Um, but, you know, we need to turn on and off the water heater and stuff. It's all this stuff is here. And I think we've showed this till ad nauseum. Oh, man. <laughs> um, we do have the Firefly system and it does all the lights. Uh, you can see all these little panels right here, but you'll also notice there's some extra outlets right here and also um, extra outlets right here. So we do have a lot of things that are on the Firefly system, um, but we like backups, we like redundancy. So if the Firefly system were to die, we have enough lights in here that we could run if our DC system were to die, we have enough AC lights in here, so we're never gonna be caught in the dark, so that's good. Yeah, that was one of our biggest fears when we designed this, is that what happened if the Firefly system went out? Yeah, so, and then the big command center for the Firefly system is right here, and again, we'll go through it. And then these little boxes here, this is for the heated floors. We've got them set at 80. <laughs> it's like <laughs> 90 degrees outside. Oh. So we also, we, we don't have a standard RV air conditioner either. We have the uh, LG mini split system. And it, let me tell you, it gets so cold in here and the floors just, they, they freeze your feet off. You can see I've got my slippers on all the time and we keep the floors at, at 80 degrees, even when it's 100 degrees outside because it gets so cold in here, at least for me. <laughs> Very rarely will you see me in a short sleeve shirt. Very rarely. This is for you folks. So are we ready to go upstairs? Let's head upstairs. Okay. Way upstairs. Way upstairs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more. So let's go upstairs. And as you'll see, it should be, we should say, let's go upstairs. We had the opportunity to have a completely flush floor, but um, we didn't want to give up the storage downstairs. So as you can see, we have a six inch step here. We could have gone with four, but we wanted six just from a safety point of view. So we're ready to go? Let's go all the way upstairs. Oh, and before we go, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that door. Cool door. Mm -hmm. and let's see what's behind it. I love this door and this sucker. I don't know if it, it must weigh like 200 pounds. It's all solid wood. Probably it's a shame that it's painted, but it, oh, it acts as two different things. So you remember you have that 17 inch cabinet, which is the coat closet. Well, this is bigger than 17 inches. So we couldn't do the pocket door. So we did, we did the sliding door and, oh, uh, this is what I call my archive. I don't think we, I don't wear any of that stuff or use those shoes, but we have this big shoe cubby and I went out and I measured all of David's shoes and mine to see if they would all fit. And then he goes off and buys a new pair of shoes <laughs> and they don't fit. They weren't part of the specifications. Yeah. And um, so I like to change out the duvets a lot. So I have all our different duvet covers up there and stuff. So um, really don't get into this a whole lot, but we've got it just in case. Once again, a nice place for storage of shoes. Yes, and this door is so heavy and solid because it was important to us to be able to house um, this, the, the two, the, call it the twins, the artwork. And you can also see we, we have our finials on top there too. Um, this is a queen size bed. There's a backstory to that too. Um, but you'll, something you'll notice, something a little bit different. I'm just shy of six feet tall. Look at this. I am standing inside the slide and you can see it's easily six, two, six, three high. So when we're making the bed, um, you don't have to worry about, you know, having to reach over. We don't have to worry about hitting our heads. We don't have to worry about hitting our heads on here um, in these cubbies. And so these are nice size cubbies that we just keep some miscellaneous clothes in. And again, we could have gone with the closed uh, with doors, but we wanted something a little bit open just for some decoration. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that we did, I don't know if you notice this, but the side stands and the headboard are in a chocolate stain, which is different than the natural cherry because we wanted to make sure it looked like furniture and not just 
all built-in RV stuff. So that was really nice. So moving on, this is our dresser. <laughs> it's, it's a little obscene. It's got a lot of storage. And what's nice is this 17 inches houses the um, regular, regularly folded t-shirts. We don't have to fold anything for all of David's hoarding of t-shirts. Yeah, I have an issue. You do. I like t-shirts. We, we both have issues. I do too. Um, so here are my hoarding of t-shirts and sweatshirts. Um, but you know, again, it's a 17 inch deep cabinet. You just fold the t-shirts up and it's all storage, all storage. And we have another really pretty solid wood door and there's a mirror on the other side, which is nice. But that one's a more conventional pocket. It is. Door. So this this is a yeah, you're right. This is a pocket door. Um, you got to have a pocket door somewhere, I guess. Yeah, it's an RV. You got to have a pocket. And door. you'll notice we only have two walls in this entire trailer, this one and this one. And we don't have a TV. Um, we generally don't watch TV in the bedroom, you know, so um, so we just opted to have just again all the space here. Moving on to one of my favorite rooms in the house, besides the sewing <laughs> machine and the desk. <laughs> the bathroom. The bathroom, the master bath. But it's more than just a bathroom. Oh yeah, it's a lot more. Let's go check it out. So we we actually this is this is rv believe it or not this is a, a solid fiberglass shower and we did that because we do a lot of boondocking but you'll notice the height okay david doesn't bang his head anymore we have these really tall shower doors put on with the mosaic and and the, we had to go with the window instead of the skylight because we just have too much solar up top but I really like oh, the window yeah. like that. It is. It's really nice. And when we were built, when we were designing it, we asked to uh, have all the um, some of the things put on the walls, so all the walls are reinforced. And the toilet, we did. Um, we wanted this box behind here because we wanted to hide all the plumbing, but it also hides a lot of the electrical work, uh, the wires for the security cameras that we have outside. And it looks nice. Mm -hmm. And it looks nice, yeah. Okay, are you ready for it? Okay, so this is a really cool closet. Can you guess what's in here? Hmm? It's a cool item. It is. Voila, it is a clothes rack and I use this all the time and I love it and when we're dry camping I'll put clothes and stuff on there and um, you know even towels and things it's just it's every RVer needs a drying rack and it's it's really nice I, I really like this and then we have the slide out door for the washer and dryer and we did choose to go with the Splendid I actually like doing loads in smaller quantities and we have this huge drawer and um, this is what I use to hang all the clothes with when we're dry camping and boondocking. And just rags and stuff and iron. And I do iron. Oh, but look at this. This is a cool drawer. This is cool. But oh, the drawer within a drawer. And because I do sew and I do have to iron on occasion, um, I have this pull out ironing board. That is cool. Isn't that cool? David, you found this online. I think was it Lowe's or something. I can't remember where. <laughs> there. Okay. Yay, me. Um, so, yeah. So, that's just really cool to be able to just have that space for your ironing. And, again, I keep the ironing here and, like, plug it in inside the closet. And here is our closet. Again, multi-purpose. My clothes, David's clothes. We have a few little things here. Um, and we can hide, we have some uh, long space for the hanger stuff. What we like, what I really like about this bathroom is if we're someplace and, and we're overnighting and all the slides are in, this is it. There are no slides in here. We have full access to this space so we can get dressed and everything, which, which is really nice. And then moving around, uh, we have this cabinet here and this is so when the doors are closed, I'm not banging my elbows. 
and just back stock items here. And then the medicine cabinet, the double vanity, uh, we actually commissioned an artist in Cody um, to build these for us. He made these, which was really super cool. And uh, yes, Bill, these are our toilet paper lights right here. <laughs> and you know, again, we tried to maximize on all the space. We even have a tip out. I haven't figured out what to put in there. Um, it's, it stays empty. We have a lot of empty space. And then we have all of our storage compartments and you see it goes all the way back. And this is where I hoard all of our fire starter stuff. But really nice. I, we like doing the vanity sinks because we, frankly, we get dressed together. Then this wonderful cabinet. <laughs> I maximize on this thing. So we'll start with the top and go to the bottom, right? This is our linen closet, and I keep, you know, the, obviously the linens in there. Um, this holds like six, and this isn't even all the toilet paper. This holds about six months worth of supply of toilet paper. This is bordering on TMI, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't hear any complaints during COVID. We That's had true. no issues. We went months without going to the store, and we were fine. We barely put a dent in that. But this is super cool. I saw this at an RV show and I said, I want this in our home. This is a pull out hamper. And I actually made this uh, spacecraft design, built this and then, um, then I made this to put in it, which is really nice. Um, halfway is about a, a load. And so I can fit almost six to eight loads in here. And if I really push it down, I can fit even more. So that's, that's pretty cool. So there you have it. This is our home. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we certainly love it. Um, and we did not go through any of the infrastructure. There's a reason for that because in a couple of weeks we're going to be doing a video on what's under the hood, right? What's oh, in yeah. David's domain. And we're gonna go through and talk about how this rig was designed for boondocking. And it does it very well. Yes, when we're boondocking, um, I, we can run everything as if we're on full hookup and it's wonderful. So thanks again, everybody. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. We certainly welcome all your comments. Hope you subscribe. And actually we have three more tour videos on Orion and on one on Voyager. You're going to do That's right. another video on how you've outfitted the, the truck. From yeah, it's docking. not just a truck. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so anyone, anyhow, everyone, thank you so much for coming along. We're glad that you took the time to, to tour our home and we really appreciate everybody's comments and we really super enjoy actually meeting everybody um people stopping by and saying hi that's that's just that's the best part i think so thanks again and have a great day now this is like a sobriety test you have to pull up and push down and i didn't do it right <laughs> obviously i don't iron enough i think you did this on purpose <laughs> there okay yay me our grandson in here. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. <laughs>